let's talk about your portfolio. So if you have an agency, they're going to be picking out your portfolio. You get to have a little bit of say and they may care about what you say or they may not. Depends on the agent. But if you do not have an agent, you are going to need to know how to set up your portfolio. So first, let me remind you, everyone is making their best guess. Agents are making guesses based on their past bookings and feedback. It is a guessing game. It is impossible to know what clients are going to respond and connect with. We have certain advantages of knowing things like psychology. We know if your face is in it, you're more likely to look at a picture longer. You're more likely to connect with it. We have, you know, good lighting makes people stare at a photo longer. We have certain things that we know help, but it's all just kind of a best guess. So if you like a photo more than your agent likes it, it's not the end of the world. It You will still get plenty of work even if you don't love your book. There are many times where I don't agree with the photos they picked. I'm like, that is not my favorite photo. And yet I get booked and I work. So, you know, it's it's all personal opinions and it is a guessing game. So how do you pick these photos for your portfolios, your website, and your cards? No matter what, you want good lighting. I suggest having at least 80% of your face, 80% of the time. So we're trying to book you. We want to see what you look like. Every once in a while, we can have a cool, edgy photo, an editorial. But the most of the time, we want 80% of your face, 80% of the time. We want to avoid missing limbs. It's just not that great. Are fantastic to add to your portfolio. So when it comes to lighting, you see here these photos are all lit very well. You can see my entire face. Even with the black and white one, you can still clearly see my face and features. And even with the one at the very end with the umbrella or parasol, I think it's called, um, there's backlighting, but yet I, it still looks good. You can still see my face well. So we want good lighting and we want to see your face clearly again it's all about your face so put the face first choose photos that show 80 percent of your face 80 percent of the time you see the photo at the top left you can't see both my eyes but you still see most of my face and the face structure so the photo does really well for me and in all the other ones you can completely see my entire face it is not being covered by props or hair, or the pose, or shadows. 20% of the time, you can get fun with it. You see the one on the very top left, we got lots of like effects and blur going on. We were doing some long exposure stuff. You really can't completely see my face or my features. The other one on the top, you see my hair is covering like half of my face. And the one at the bottom, you can't even see my face. It's all about my body. I'm not even looking at the camera. We would put a few of these photos. Even all three of these photos could go in my portfolio, but we don't want them to be the first photo. We don't want these photos on your card, and we don't want this to be your entire book. Of course, you can post these like crazy. They're great for posting, but we don't want them to be your entire book. Avoid missing limbs. So I'm going to do a video to show this because I didn't want to um, show it in photos. It's a little bit difficult because I tend to delete those photos, so I only have like two. So I'm gonna show it in a video. Avoid photos from angles that hide your limbs in ways that make them disappear. It's like when you're posing from a certain angle, it can make your whole leg disappear behind you or your whole arm. You'll understand this when you see the video. Tears, these are all publications, things that have words and writing on them. They went into a magazine or an editorial. They make you look super professional. It's really great. We love to add these to portfolios. Also, you can have multiple books. I have multiple books, and I find that it has worked really well for me. You could have a high fashion, a commercial, specialized, maybe swimsuit and lingerie, e-com, or even video. And you don't have to have multiple books. You could just have one book. A lot of models just have one book. Uh, but I like to have multiple. So I have my main book. And then if I'm at a client that is specifically e-com, I will just say to them, I also have a, an album with a bunch of my e-com work. Would you like to see that? Almost always they say yes. And then I show it to them and they're like, oh, that was really cool to be able to see your e-com work. And so for me, it's worked well. Of course, do whatever works 
for you, your time, your budget, your energy, all of that. As for your cards, the front of your card should always be an up close face shot. So you can see they're not all the exact same angles, but you can see my face. I have great lighting. You can see my whole face, especially the one where my hair is pulled back. That card did very well for me. Uh, you want to just make sure they can see your face. And agents will also make this the front of your card. Like these were all picked out by my agents. The back of the card is almost always one full length shot. Some people do put two, three, even four photos on the back. If you want to put that many photos, you know, do whatever makes you happy. But at the very least, have one full length shot head to toe. You want to avoid half face, half body, any other models. This is the part that is 100% about you. We don't need to show any other models. In your book, you could have one where there's other models in the photo, but avoid those on your card. And logos. We're not really looking for your card to be an ad. They didn't pay for the, all that extra publicity. And when you're going to castings, if your card says Nike, Adidas is not going to hire you. Skechers is not going to hire you. So it can really make you lose a lot of work in the end. So we don't want to do that. Most of the time, of course, whatever works for you. If your agent chooses one with a logo, they probably got a reason for it. There's always exceptions to the rules. But that's everything you need to understand setting up your portfolio and your cards. If I missed anything or you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. This is also another very important part of your toolkit. And if this is helping you in any way, I would love to hear about it in email. Or if you share it publicly, please use the hashtag Model S Mindset. And as always, if you would like to book a one-on-one, -on -one, the link is provided.